All right, today I will be scalping Bitcoin on the five minute time frame, and I will use the 50 EMA and the 200 EMA and also the MACD from the one minute time frame. And I will be scalping with the 20X leverage on Bybit. But keep in mind that trading with leverage is super risky, so do not copy me. Okay, we now have finally, after like 20 hours of low volatility, we now have some big down ticks on the MACD on the one minute time frame, but we are still dropping and I'm not sure about this trade. We had a crossover on the EMAs. It was like, I think 30 hours ago. Yeah, one day and five hours. And I think this might be a reversal. I'm not sure about this trade. The drop is 1.8%. Have to look at the order book now. Yeah, but I think I will go into this trade because we have some bullish uh, price action right here. And let me explain also that we had the three big MACD down ticks in a row. And the first one was at 33 and then 30 and then 24. So with that said, I think this could be a good uh, long position because I only want 0.5% uh, profit. So that's why I took this trade anyways. I'm now in the trade. I will add my stop loss and I will add my target order. So here we go. My trade is now all set. I have my entry here and my stop loss down here 0.4% and my target profit up here at 0.5%. So now let's see if this will be a win. Look at this trade. I've been in this trade for almost two minutes and I'm already almost uh, halfway to my target. So I think this will be a win. I have a good feeling about this trade, but let's see, anything can happen. Hoo hoo, it almost hit my target. Look at this, so annoying. 0.01% from my target. Yeah, I hate when this happens, but I will move my stop loss right now to my break even when we was that close to my target. So I have some more room for the fees here. So my entry is now here and this is now my stop loss 0.08% and this is my target profit up here. So let's see if this would be a win. All right, there we go. Perfect, perfect. So 1-0 for the day. It's Monday for 19 p.m. my time zone. The price has been very slow this Monday. Usually Mondays have a lot of volatility, but this Monday has been very slow. I mean, there were some uh, opportunities, but we didn't have that many up ticks and down ticks about 20 or below negative 20 but now the volatility is picking up here so i think i will trade late monday night here so one zero for the day let's wait for the next trade all right guys it's time for a trade we had a big uptick on the macd here it's 25.5 but I was not at the computer at the moment and we now dropped 0.2% after we had an uptick. So I'm waiting for the price action to go up to this entry again or near this entry and I can join on that trade. So I will go to the order book here to see the momentum and I think we'll pump a little bit more here. So I will be patient. I will take the short right away. We have so much bearish pressure in the order book and we also had that uptick on the MACD. I'm late into this trade, but I missed it. So I will now add my stop loss and I will add my target order with the limit order. All right, so my trade is now all set. Here's my entry and my stop loss up here at 0.4% and my target profit down here at 0.5%. And I think this would be a win. We have a lot of pressure to the downside, just dropped heavily. And we had a great uptick here on the MACD. And then we had another uptick on the MACD here. But that candle was red so it's showing we have a lot of momentum to the downside that's why i joined this trade even if i was a bit late in uh, and the order book is also very very bearish so let's see if this will be a win i'll come back when this trade is closing all right we will close this trade very soon here it went straight down to my target that was a crazy trade i think we will close within 10 seconds 10 9 8 7 6 5 Four, three, two, one, come on. One, close it. There we go. <laughs> All right, 12 seconds. Perfect, perfect. That was a nice trade. I was a bit late into that trade, but we had so much pressure to the downside. And now I will wait for the next opportunity. All right, I'm thinking about taking a trade outside of my strategy right now. I'm thinking about catching a falling knife here. We had a big drop on Bitcoin, negative 5%, and we have some support right here. Uh, so yes, I will take this long position. It's outside of my um, strategy. I'm now in my long position. I will add my stop loss straight away, and I will add my target order. All right, so I'm now in my long position. I have my entry right here, my stop loss down here at 0.4% and my target profit up here at 0.5%. And the reason I took this trade was because we had multiple waves and 
Last week we had a similar scenario and I decided not to cash a falling knife. But this time it's different because we don't have that same type of panic in the market. And this is a more natural drop. It's not artificial, it's not manipulation, but it is a smaller type of, of drop. And this price action looks very bullish and we are also very near a big support here. And we had a lot of bullish pressure in the order books. Uh, so based on my past experience, like two to three years ago, I only made reverse trades i was practicing catching falling knives a lot and also shorting tops uh, i don't do it as much anymore because it's very risky but based on that experience i have this looks like a good long position and we, we are going to the upside so i think i took the right decision here so yeah let's see if this trade will be a win i'll come back when this trade is closing as you can see here in the order book we have a lot of pressure to the upside and yeah see you soon all right the trade looks very very good we just have a little bit more to go here like 0.14 percent to my target and this time i will move my stop loss to my entry because i think this is a risky trade and when i'm up already i don't want to lose money on this trade so now i have my stop loss at my entry uh, a bit above my entry to cover up for fees so if we go back to my entry i think uh, this trade will be a loser so therefore i can exit the trade at break even but let's see what happens all right it seems like i was wrong about this trade but however i'm exiting this trade as break even even included fees so i will not lose any money on this trade and is it always a good idea to move the stop loss like this if you are in profit no absolutely not but in this case i took a trade that was outside of my strategy and i was up already 0.39 uh, percent uh, so in that case this trade was more risky and i was up so i thought that if the price would reverse and go down to my entry i thought that the trade would be a losing trade uh, so therefore i moved my stop loss in on this specific trade but I, I don't always do this all right so i will now wait for the next uptick on the macd and i will take another short from there all right this is a bit frustrating if i wouldn't move my stop loss this trade would be a win <laughs> but yeah things like this happens my bad let's wait for the next trade all right it's now tuesday the day after i traded yesterday monday and i made two wins here and one trade where i was break even but i lost three dollars on that trade so yeah basically two zero and i'm now waiting for my next trade and the market has been very slow today uh, almost no trading opportunities so far but looking at my volatility index here it's almost 11 a.m utc time zone here so the volatility will pick up in uh, a bit more than one hour according to my calendar here so when the market is slow like this it's um, tempting to go into a trade uh, without a clear signal but this uh, volatility time schedule helps me a lot to be patient and wait for uh, better trades because I expect more volatility at 12 p.m. UTC time zone. So as soon as the volatility picks up, I will take a trade. And since uh, we have been sideways for a long time, I think I can take a trade if the price starts to dump because I'm very, very bearish for the day looking at the daily time frame it doesn't look good at all for Bitcoin. So if we have a lot of momentum, to the downside i will short and i'm also open to take a long position if we break the 200 ema to the upside here so i'm waiting for that to happen otherwise i will just follow my strategy i'll come back when we have more volatility all right it looks like we are about to use the 200 ema as a resistance as you can see here and i'm going to take the short right away here so i'm going to market 100 and open a short i'm now in the trade and i will set my stop loss straight away and i will add my target order with the limit order all right my trade is now all set my entry here my stop loss up here as 0.4 percent and my target down here at 0.5 percent and again uh, i took this trade because we are bearish for the day and we just hit the 200 ema and got a small rejection from there and i just think we will not break this uh, 200 ema in the first try uh, that almost never happens in in markets like this we might break it uh, in a few hours but not this first try so that's why i took a short also the order book look at the order book guys almost no buy orders only sell orders and a lot of them as well so this will be a win i think i'm like 85 percent sure so let's see if i'm right wow look at this another good trade here this is my entry just a few minutes later i'm up 0.4% almost and I now have 0.2% to my target profit. Uh, I would be surprised if this will not be a win. 
I'll come back when this trade is closing. All right, here we go. We're closing within a few seconds now. It's exactly at my target right now. Just a few more dollars down and I'm out of this trade. This is so annoying. Look at this. Here's my target profit. It wicked down less than 0.01% from my target. So annoying, but we will get there. I think I will have to wait for like 20 to 30 minutes now. It will go up from here. Bitcoin is teasing me today. We're so close to my target. Please just close this trade. <laughs> All right, here we go. One more tick to the downside and we are out. Come on. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. There we go. Perfect. So we now have three wins, zero losses, and one draw, negative $3. I'm okay with that. So now let's look at the price action. We still don't have that much volatility. Uh, I took my entry here uh, at the 200 EMA and went down to my target and for the next trade i need to be more picky uh, i need more volatility and i also need a valid entry according to my strategy so i will wait for that and i will come back when that happens all right uh, here's a trade that i was not able to record the uh, audio on because i had some company over but i was able to record the screen so you can look at the trade entry and the trade exit here and this trade ended up being a loss but i took another trade and i was not able to record the exit on this trade either but this trade closed as a win so i recorded two trades where i was not able to record audio uh, one win and one loss but i was able to record audio on the next trade so keep watching all right it's time for another trade i just placed two trades uh, one loss and one win and now i am interested in a third trade in the same uptick stack here we have four upticks above 30 in a row this is uh, pretty unusual that this happens and i made my first uh, short on the top of this week and I it almost closed as a win, but then I was stopped out. Then I made another short around here and took a profit down here at 0.5%. And now we are continuing to the upside and we still have some upticks here. So I will wait for the price to touch the 50 EMA right here, or I will wait for the price action to start looking very bearish before I enter a trade. All right, so we have a lot of bearish pressure right now. I will go into short. So I'm now in the short and I will add my stop loss straight away and I will add my target order with the limit order. All right, so I'm now in the trade. My entry is right here. My stop loss is up here at 0.4% and my target profit down here at 0.5%. So let's see if this will be a win. All right, this was a risky trade. I went too close to my stop loss, 0.32%, uh, but now I'm back to my break even. So let's hope this will continue to the downside. It looks uh, very promising. I think this might be a win. All right, this trade closed as a loss. Too bad, too bad. I will now check my PL history here. I started trading yesterday and I opened with a win. Then I had a loss, a win. So two wins and one loss. Then I had another win. Then break even trade, uh, negative $3. Then another win, so four wins and one loss. Then I had a loss, so four wins and two losses. Another win, five wins and two losses. And then another loss. So five wins and three losses. So if I can make just one more win, I would have a win rate at 66%. And that's good enough for me. So I will wait for the next opportunity. All right, we just tested the 50 EMA on the five minute time frame, and it's not looking good. We have also two upticks near 20 here. And I think the MACD on the five minute time frame is also pretty overextended to the upside since we are in a bearish trend the last few days. And also we are in the bear market. So I will wait for the order books to slow down here. We have a lot of bullish pressure in the order book right now. I will wait for that to slow down and then I will take my short. All right, I think now is a good time. I will go into this trade. I'm now in the short and I will add my stop loss straight away. And I will add my target order with the limit order. So now everything is all set. My entry right here, my stop loss up here 0.4% and my target down here at 0.5%. So let's see if this will be a win. All right, we were very close to my stop loss only like 0.03% from my stop loss and then we crashed down again. So I'm praying that this trade will go back to my entry and then I can maybe enter at break even or I can hold it to my target. But yeah, it doesn't feel too good. So let's look at the trading view chart. We broke above the 50 EMA. That was not the plan. However, we don't have a candle close above it, which is a good sign. And now we are crashing down more. So maybe we can do this. I'm now at break even and I don't know if I should exit the trade or keep holding it. But yeah, I still believe in this trade, to be honest. I still do. 
Again, we don't have a five minute candle close above the 50. So yeah, I think this could be a win. We have been pumping almost 1.8% in just a, like two hours uh, in a bearish move in the bear market. Yeah, I'm staying in this trade. Let's see how it goes. All right, here we go. My trade closed as a loss, unfortunately. And I will come back when we have another opportunity. All right, it's time for a new trade. I have to be really quick here. We had a big, big, big uptick on MACD and I will take this trade right now. So I'm now in the short and I will add my stop loss straight away and I will have my target order with the limit order. All right, so now my trade is all set here. I have my entry here and my stop loss up here at 0.4% and my target down here at 0.5%. And the reason I took this trade was that we had these four upticks and I made a few losses there. And then we had some consolidation ticks here and then we had a huge MACD uptick and we had a spike in 10 minutes at 2%. And we still have a death cross on the EMAs and I think that after this big of a candle, we will go down and I will close my trade now after just like 20 seconds. So I will close this as a win very soon. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And there we go. There we go. Perfect, perfect. So that was a very clean, fast trade. This was one of the scenarios where I don't wait for the candle to close because I want to enter as high up as possible when we have an extreme candle like this, 1.35% uh, candle. So I'm very, very happy about that trade. Uh, I hope we will have a few more MACD upticks very soon. I'll come back when that happens. All right, so we now have, after many hours of wait, we have a big uptick on the MACD. It's uh, above 30 and we have a big pump here on the Bitcoin price and I will take it from here. So I'm now in the short and I will add my stop loss straight away and I will add my target order with the limit order and my trade is now all set. I have my entry right here and my stop loss up here at 0.4% and my target profit down here at 0.5% and yeah, the reason I took this trade was pretty obvious. I had an entry signal according to my strategy. We have the death cross on the EMAs and we had a big uptick. The only thing I'm worried about here is that the price action is above both EMAs. That's not a good sign if I'm in a short, but at the same time we had a very big uh, candle here at 0.66%. Uh, so I think we will have a small pullback, even if we might be in a bullish uh, price action at the moment. And as you can see here, I'm already in profit on my trade. So I think this would be a win and I will come back when this trade is closing. All right, we are moving closer to my target. And I think this trade will close within a few minutes only, hopefully. All right, we have a lot of pressure in the book to the downside and I think we will close very soon here. I've been in this trade for only about two minutes, maybe three minutes. And we're closing right now, 10, Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. There we go. Perfect, perfect. That was a, about two to three minute trade. 0.5% uh, profit with 20x leverage. I'm happy that this trade ended up being a win, even if the price action looked very bullish. It was a bit of a risky trade. All right, so I traded two days and I made seven wins and four losses, which is a win rate at 63%. And this was one of my worst uh, trading session in a long time. Uh, I've been above 70% for the last few weeks, but now I was only at 63%, which is still okay it's not very profitable but it's uh, at least profitable and i increased my account by 14 percent and with the small amount that is not too much but with a bigger amount it's still okay but when i'm trading i'm not happy unless i'm above 66 percent so i consider this a failed trading week even if i still made some profits and by the way guys as you can see i am scalping on bybit because i think that's the best exchange for crypto scalping and crypto day trading if you also want to trade on bybit you can go to my link in my video description down below here and click on my affiliate link to create an account but remember guys this is only for experienced traders and again do not copy my style my style is super risky to use but with that said watch the next video popping up on the screen here and thanks for watching and see you in the next video peace out